Adiós. Today's a good day for Eddie, he's a jag man. And we've got a little beast for us today. An XFR. So up front we've got a lovely supercharged V8. 550 horsepower we're running in this. About what, 700 newton means? So a lot, a lot of torque. <laughs> wow. All through the rear wheels, yeah, it's gonna be pretty larry. And it's got a rather fruity exhaust on it, which I'm sure you'll, you'll hear in a second. It's all been blacked out, really. Decromed. Moved away, Decromed. Yeah, moved away from the granddad spec. Black. I think all of these would have been chrome originally. But I think it looks nice. But I like it, yeah. I really like this colour in Jags as well. Even when you come around to the rear lights, this has all been smoked out or de chromed. Yeah. So it's kind of. <laughs> There's a little aftermarket exhaust there for you. Is it straight piped? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> <laughs> We're on some relatively spicy tyres. We've got the Advan AD09, so these should give. Rear wheels, plenty of grip for all that. It's a long, nice, lovely yeah. summer's day. It'd be good to see how they're going. There's been a lot of tyre chat on the channel of late. There so has, yeah. This could be a, a tyre choice. Yeah, it could be. Could quad, be. So. Do need some new tyres for the quad. Before we get stuck into it, guys, Tomo, shut up. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe guys, it really helps us out and we'll hopefully get more cars like this. So we've just done a very short pull and I can confirm it is a proper hooligan wagon. But it's very nice in the back here, I feel like I'm being chauffeured around like in the XJ when we did that video. But I'm probably going to be feeling quite nauseous in about... 10 minutes. We're now at the infamous road and uh, where we go. You've had a quick uh, passenger go yes. in this. What, what were your initial thoughts? Um, I picked up on two things, anal things, but two things. Sitting in the back, you can definitely tell it's got spicy tyres on it. You can tell like, the sidewall's much harder on the ride. A lot of soft and forgiving. Then the second bit was the gear, the gear ratio. So this is a six speed ZF, not an eight speed. And it, obviously it holds gears much longer, so it doesn't feel like you just go bang, 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 bang. Yeah. It's, it's a bit more smoother, smoother, but it's not as, um, Impressive power. Very impressive. You can feel the grunt, like the low down grunt. You can't go wrong with this yeah, engine, so can for, you? Tell you what, for value for money for this, and yeah. what's been put into it, it's a very good value. There's time. not much that can beat that. No. In terms of being, you know, relatively modern. Yeah. Over 500 horsepower, yeah. reliably. Yeah. Comfort, style, win, win, win. Yeah. And it's a Jag. It's a Jag. Britain. Everyone everyone loves a Jag. Oh, Lewis made a good point. Um, it feels like an old American muscle car. Mm-hmm. Would you get any suspension done or anything like that, or you'd no, just leave, it as, leave it as is? It's perfect for you right now. You've no, got we'll your stupid cars, which we'll, uh, we'll have a look at. We'll later. have a look at later. <laughs> Very nice places to be. They are. This is the older, older version before they tried to cut costs too much. So uh, you know, ev like everything is leather. Nice and comfy. Very comfy in the back. In the back yeah. there, Very Ollie. comfortable. Yeah, I'm just noticed a few things. Alcantara roof lining. Very nice. Oh. Clocks the Bowers and Wilkins sound system as well. Very nice. Yeah. Bit of carbon fibre down in the middle as well. Um, but no, it's lovely. And the seats are very comfortable. Very comfortable. It's very comfortable, we're isn't it? Back in a Jag. So we're quite well versed with our Jags of this era on this channel. Lewis used to have an XJR. Ed's had an XES, and this is obviously the XFR. Slightly older than the other guys, but very similar kind of interiors in a way. Um, that's kind of classic Jag, isn't it? Yeah infotainment system it's just a generally nice place to be so i've just jumped in obviously the first thing you know this is the sound so the windows closed that is loud it's fast i was expecting the gearbox 
looks not to be as quick as it is actually. It puts the power down well, doesn't it? It puts the power down okay, yeah. yeah. Pure cruising, good straight line performance, but then when you want to go down a B road, Perfecto, we really like. One of my favourite engines, this uh, Jack V8. Shame you couldn't get one in the XC, apart from the Project 8, but that's... Yeah. Oh, that's stupid money. Stupid money. So that was a brown one, with the E60 was about. E60, yeah. That was a golden era. We had the V10, got the supercharged V8 in this. Got the windows down now, and it just adds so much to the experience. It's a muscle car, it's an English muscle car. Go down another gear. It's <laughs> <laughs> obnoxious. You can't beat it, you cannot beat that. It's a car guy. <laughs> People hate it, and we fucking love it. <laughs> So guys, in conclusion, we are big, big fans of the XFR. Value for money, everything you need, absolutely awesome engine, super fast. I mean, what's not, what's not to like, eh? Ed, potentially in the future, you could get an R product. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, as a road car, excellent. Yeah. Car it does everything you need it to do, and then it does all the silly stuff. So guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll See you on the next one. Bye. That is so loud.